Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and we will be going to several places to go plant shopping. We'll be going to a big box store, grocery stores, just to check out what plants they have out in North Dallas, Texas. This one is off of Custer Road in McKinney, North McKinney, um, the Home Depot right off of Custer Road. So we will see what kind of plants they have. I've been at this location several times, but we will see if they have any updates or any restocks of plants. So as you can see, it's always nice to go shopping at night because there's really nobody shopping. Um, I went to this location right at about 8 30 um, last night so we'll see what they have so obviously they still have all of the nature's way ceramic planters and this one right here this is an epipremnum arium neon plus zz plant this one is for 49.96 um, these are the they're ready to go series so i do like this just because both of these plants can tolerate lower light conditions the neon pothos looks fabulous and then we're going to look at these um, nature's way ceramic planters and then also i've been looking at this one right here this is an epipremnum aria marlboro queen pothos this one is for $14.98 by vigoro love the variegation of this marble queen pothos pothos are very easy to um, grow plant they can tolerate lot lower light conditions and this one right here is a Palea peperomoides or Chinese money plant. Um, this one right over here is a Calathea mosaica. Um, this, this one is actually, I'm not 100% sure what the price is for this ceramic planter, so we're gonna find out. And this one is for $19.98 in a ceramic planter by Nature's Way. Not a really big fan of the Calathea mosaica. I feel like there's other Calatheas that have better interest um, in the foliage. And we are looking at some more lower light um, tolerant plants like this Dracaena Lemon Surprise, or yep, the Dracaena Lemon Surprise. And we have some more Sansevieria right over here. These are a very nice size Sansevieria, and these are all for $24.98, not a bad price. But we're gonna pan over here and take a look at this. But I did wanna thank all of the viewers that um, tuned into my live premieres. It is amazing to see so many people participating in the chats, and I will continue to have these longer videos. This one is awesome. First time I've ever seen this. This is a Calathea Mark C um, fishbone. Look at how beautiful the foliage is on this Calathea. If I was not on a no buy plant, I would totally pick this up today immediately now. But unfortunately, I'm going to have some restraint and not purchase this plant. But look at how beautiful this plant is. I did want to feature this because for a large um, Calathea, this is only for $29.96 by Nature's Way. Not all Home Depots carry these large specimens. This one specifically always carries um, large um, Calathea. Like here's another one, the Calathea lancifolia. So the lancifolia or rattlesnake Calathea has been available for quite some time, but I did want to put these down. Look at how beautiful this is. Like if you wanted some instant gratification as far as Calathea are concerned, you definitely need to go to the um, McKinney, Texas, this um, Home Depot um, off of Custer Road, the North uh, McKinney one, not the one further down south. I've been to that one as well, but look at how beautiful the Calathea is right here. So for my Dallas, um, Fort Worth people watching, you might want to check this out. And then for everybody else, let's just admire how beautiful these Calathea are. I featured this Calathea orbifolia a while back, but I wanted to show you this. Look at how beautiful and large the leaves are. Look at this. Would this not look perfect um, in somebody's collection for Calathea? Do I need all three of them? I did buy the Calathea Makoyana a little while back. It's still actually in my garage under a grow light. I'm surprised that it's still doing well. I need to repot it just because I'm not really a fan of the Nature's Way planters. Um, I am actually gonna repot them in this really large threshold planter that I was gonna buy at Target. Um, but these are still beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look at that, there is a Calathea Makoyana right over there. I just can't reach it because there's a ladder. But look at this Calathea Orbifolia. Look at all of that. They just look like works of art, guys. Like, what do you guys think, plant folies? Would you get these Calatheas? Look at this Calathea Lancifolia. I just love that there is a Calathea jungle happening at 8.30 at night in McKinney, Texas Home Depot. Like, that is insane. Absolutely love it. Look at how beautiful all three of these are for 90, um, for 29 96 not a bad price at all let me know what you guys think and this is when you can say that a big box store does come through and have 
very cost effective prices. Um, sometimes nurseries, plant nurseries like Callaway's have really good prices, but for that um, size of a Calathea, I don't think you can beat Home Depot at this point. I haven't seen such beautiful large Calathea like this even at like Lowe's. I did want to pan over here like this is awesome, right? Look at how in stock that this Home Depot is. Um, if you want larger form plants, this Home Depot is the place to go. And I just love going and looking at plants, um, even at night. I am actually out and about just because I did have a, I finally was able to get a 7 p.m. premiere. I've been a little bit late just because life, work, just things in general just got in the way and um, I have to kind of balance this out. But I am happy that I was able to go plant shopping at night, um, you know, filming some content because now I want to have a variety of plant shopping videos. So like I want to mix a big box plus plant nur local nursery. I want to go ahead and give you guys some grocery plants because I don't think a lot of people feature that. And right here, we are looking at a Dracaena Riki. Now the Dracaena Riki is really cool just because it has thinner leaves. It's almost like between a regular Dracaena and a Dracaena Marginata where it's got very, very thin leaves. That one's a nice one. And I did want to just show you again, all of these Calatheas. You will probably see me panning out over these Calatheas just because I can't believe that they have so many. And so, and the Calathea are so healthy. This one right here is a Thematophyllum beautiful looking plant right here i am so happy that somebody was able to give me the plant id and then we have a ficus elastica burgundy right over here do you guys remember the other video where i featured this home depot well the spathophyllum or the peace lily are um alive again they were all droopy and dead just because they were dehydrated but they're back now this is a cordyline hawaiian tea plant for 1998 i do like the um purple magenta you know dark green foliage of this um cordyline i do like cordyline i wish i could grow them indoors it's just that they really are very much spider mite prone when you grow them indoors kind of like a hedra helix guys but these peaceless lilies let's talk about these peace lilies so the other day when i was visiting this home depot all of these um spathophyllum were literally looking like they were dying and now it looks like somebody hosed them down and gave them some water and they're back alive um here is some white bird of paradise so all bird of paradise have different blooms this one happens to be the white bird of paradise this is for 21.98 it's already a very large specimen so that is a plant that if you like bird of paradise i would go to this home depot and then i did want to show these proven winter plants so it's been a couple of weeks since i've been you know filming this specific um home depot and as you can see that the plant the plants are starting to somewhat decline in in health you know you're getting some browning you get you're getting some wilting um, you're just getting some drooping and unfortunately unless somebody actually goes and buys all of these plants some of these plants may end up in the trash although this one shouldn't go in the trash like look at this epipremnum arium golden pothos they do need to go ahead and refill the water it looks like these have been sitting um at this home depot for quite a while and it would just be a shame to see plants just go to waste like look at this beautiful dracaena right here this dracaena dorado or hurricane dracaena very nice dracaena just because i like how it kind of swirls and curls and then obviously we can't um, forget this thenanthe gray star this is my favorite thenanthe um it reminds me of like a stromanthe trial star but i do love the the gray silvery leaves i think it's about it's a little too late for me to get that one just because the leaves have started to really crisp and there's a little bit more damage so um that's shame on me on that and then we have um calathea luis uh, this one's for $19.98. This one's pretty Calathea. It has a little bit of browning, but nonetheless, you can always trim the browning off with just a pair of sanitized leaves. I eventually will show you guys how to, I guess, make a, a, a plant that has some like cosmetic damage um, look fairly good again just by trimming the brown spots and the brown the brown crisping of the leaves this one is a philodendron myoi um this one is starting to actually mature just a little bit there's a little bit of um le uh, yellowing on the leaves unfortunately and then we have some calathea i'm not calathea alocasia sorry alocasia right here not sure what specifically the alocasia is and then we are looking at some happy peace lilies if you were to see my other video they literally were all like drooped over and like it, they just look dead and that's the thing about certain plants like calathea spathophyllum peace lilies they will let you know when they are thirsty and you have to get them some water immediately otherwise they will continue to look like death 
And we have this um, Vigoro hanging basket fixture. This is a very much a staple at any Home Depot you go to. Of all the hanging baskets I featured, I am the um, the biggest fan of their um, Skindapsis Exotica right over here just because they have larger um, silvery leaves and these ones have been here for a little bit and now you can see they've gotten some new growth and started to trail like i would totally get this um skindapsis exotica if i am going to add some more hanging baskets just because it does have a very nice velvety silver texture it's got all of the features that i want in terms of just plant texture and color and then we have some hoya carnosa crimson princess right over here you will see seas of these plants so many um hoya carnosa crimson princess at any home depot you go to they do feature these hand, hand basket um hanging baskets for 19.98 i do like the hanging baskets although i think you can get a better um deal if you go with the costa farms exotic angels hanging basket and typically you will find those at lowe's or Walmart. So if you luck out finding any type of Hoya um, by Costa Farms at a big box store, um, you will pay for a pretty much the same price, $19.98, but you'll get a, a more full, more trailing um, hanging basket plant. So just my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think if that's the case for you as well. But you see that there are more larger plants right over here at this Home Depot. I like that they have merchandised them very well. Um, I do like this particular um, Alocasia right there. I think it's the Alocasia California. And this is my favorite um, cordyline or um, tea plant. This is the cordyline um, kiwi. This one has some really nice variegation and I love the, um, the stark pink stems and also just the pink margins on the leaves next to the you know neon green. It's got all of the, um, the coloring that I would wanna see in a plant. And then right over here, we have a Dracaena Massangiana, a Dracaena Marginata, and some um, Majesty Palm in the background. But I do love looking at the Dracaena Marginata. Um, they have two different versions right over here. I prefer the lighter version. And again, these are um, plants that you would typically see in like corporate offices, doctor's offices, just because I feel like they're they're easy to care for plants and they already come in large um, sizes like this that you can get at a big box store. Here's the Alocasia Regal Shields for $59.98. It was um, labeled at least on the on the planter as California, but it's definitely not an Alocasia California. I love the gut metal sheen that this one has. And then we are looking at some Ficus Lyrata right over here. Um, large form Ficus Lyrata. I think that if you are in the Dallas market though, definitely go to Plant Keeper Incorporated in downtown Dallas. You will get larger Ficus um, Lyrata, the largest I could actually find in the DFW area for a very good price. So just if, for anybody who's local, definitely check that out um you um are looking at some hanging baskets assorted succulents right over here i don't know a lot about succulents so i can't give you the plant ids and then we have some phalaenopsis orchids we will always be looking at some anthuriums if i'm ever shopping at a big box store they will always have anthuriums and they have a special going on for two for 30 so not bad at all and then we're just going to pass by some more larger plants right over here Gosh, I love plant shopping at night. There is nobody to have to like dodge or avoid just because I've said this in other previous videos. When I do plant shopping, I want to make sure that people are comfortable shopping and I try not to get the workers, especially and people, um, random people in my videos just because one, they are a distraction. And two, if I was somebody shopping and there was like somebody blogging about stuff, I don't want to just be added onto YouTube like that. So it's always nice to go plant shopping at night. I do want to pan over all of these proven winners um, plants and then some more of these large plants right over here. So I think of all the plants I've seen so far, look at this um, Ficus Elastica Burgundy right here. Beautiful plant. Um, all of the plants I've seen so far, I would say the Calathea, the large um, Calatheas by Nature's Way are definitely the best in health and best in price point like for 21.90 i mean 29.96 that is not a bad price for that such a large plant i would love to be able to add all three since i already have the makayana right over here especially the uh calathea um 
fish bone uh, but look at how many plants like if you just walk in here they just have a whole row of plants which means that i will have to start visiting more home depots all over dfw again just because they look like they're getting restocked but i did want to um, point out this this is the calathea makoyana now this is my favorite um calathea just because look at the leaves they look like peacock um, feathers and this one is also for 29.96 plant foldies my viewers um please leave in the comments what you think of the calathea would you have purchased all four for this price um i've already purchased this one right over here and i need to repot my calathea but look at the calathea makoyana next to the calathea orbifolia i really need a larger form calathea because i already have a calathea orbifolia but it's not nearly the size of it, it of it is and i actually bought it for 30 dollars as well but it's like maybe a quarter of the size of what i'm looking at at home depot so i did want to feature underneath the foliage look at how beautiful this is and since my camera does get high def definition look at the the intricacies of this calathea makayana but i want to go ahead and finish off the first location and just tell you that um, night shopping is awesome late night shopping and then also just look at this sea of calathea please tell me if you have local big box plant shops that have this i mean i have never seen a calathea um, fish bone so it's really nice to see that this one is available in a large form at hope depot that's not very far from where um, i am based at so this lancifolia is also beautiful and then this um, orbifolia but the next location we will be going to is a Kroger Market Place out in um, McKinney, Texas. Again, this was just further down south off of Custer Road. So Custer Road, if you just go up and down Custer Road in DFW, you will find so many plant locations. Again, I'm always thankful for anybody who tunes in. So I filmed this during a super rainy day um, when I just went out and went to a several grocery stores because I wanted to give um, all you plant foldies um, another option another vibe when it comes to plant shopping um some places where you wouldn't really expect to go shopping because if you go to a grocery store you want to go get your groceries but if you go grocery store um you know do your groceries at a grocery store you might run into some beautiful plants i think oftentimes we um pass by it because it's usually like the floral section and you know speaking of floral section i am going to go feature some of the flowering blooming plants at a grocery store like kroger's like this one right here is a beautiful um cyclamen so i did feature a bunch of cyclamen at this one um, nursery called Callaway's. This one is for $7.99. The thing about grocery store plant shopping is they like to wrap their planters in like paper or that foil. I do like uh, miniature roses. This one is also for $7.99. Um, I've had miniature roses. I've actually purchased some at Trader Joe's, the variegated form. But look at how beautiful these miniature roses are. Now, here's a couple of questions for anybody who has grown miniature roses. Number one, have you grown them indoors? Number two, do they get pests like aphids, like, you know, regular pests that, you know, roses get when you grow them outdoors or do you really need to grow miniature rose roses outdoors so that is the question i have please leave in the comments if you've ever done you know grown miniature roses or just even the live premiere chats again um here's some more cy cyclamen right over here and then we have some tulips so tulips are uh, about to be in season these are all in like um you know glass vials and you can see that this is actually my favorite one right here i love that particular type of tulip and these are for 10.99 um i really like tulips i just feel like they signify spring and there's just they're just really delicate plants that um you know, go in planters. I would say just like the cyclamen, the poinsettias, um, these are seasonal plants that just kind of signify the, se you know, the, the, the season. There you go, just the season. So let me know what you guys think about the tulips. I think they're pretty. And this particular, <coughs> excuse me, um, this particular Kroger's is absolutely beautiful as well. They just got some beautiful plants. And this one is interesting. This is a philodendron white measure or Birkin, or that's what this uh, particular grower is calling it. I haven't ever seen such a highly variegated um, philodendron right over here, Birkin. I'm going to call it Birkin, but it's cool that they call it white measure. Like, where do we get these names? But you know what? If you want to call it a different name, and this one is by Mason Farm. So I haven't seen that particular grower, but that's awesome 
awesome that we have more growers besides um, growers in um, Florida. But this is really nice. Look at this. These leaves are almost white. I hope my philodendron um, Birkin gets that variegated. This one is for $19.99 for a six inch one. Um, that one is within range of what you know these Birkins would be. Now you can actually get one at Walmart in a self-watering planter by Costa Farms for $15.98. So it really depends. But if you're looking for variegation, I would go with that. That is an awesome looking one right there. Um, and then we just have some more flowering plants. So obviously this is a grocery um, store. So you want to look at the fl uh, flowering plants first. I will definitely feature the different aeroids that they do have. Um, but this one is also for $14.99. Or, yeah, $14.99. These are some, some calla lilies. And then we have some more beautiful miniature roses. I actually love the yellow of this miniature rose right here. Again, this is for $14.99. I will say that with any miniature roses, or flowering plants that you find in indoor um, situations like a grocery store like indoor azalea indoor miniature roses indoor cyclamen all of these um, flowering plants do need um, bright indirect light so definitely um, you know grow them near a window seal just because they need a lot of light to produce those blooms and i did show you the the beautiful roots of the tulips it's always interesting that um Growers are now starting to show hydroponic type growing situations and I like that. And obviously you can't go to a grocery store and not see uh, orchids. These are Philanopsis orchids. This one is in a teacup. Look at how beautiful that is. I did want to show you guys a couple of the details. And this one is for uh, $9.99, $9.99. These are for $9.99 for these miniature orchids. I always find miniature orchids really endearing just because they can just fill up a space and you can actually get smaller ones right here. This is the espresso, guys. So you've got a teacup and then we have an espresso. The espresso has even more miniature Philanopsis orchids. I think that's really cute. And I love that Philanopsis orchids can get some aerial roots like that. Um, I just wish that grocery stores would feature more than just Philanopsis rose, I mean, um, orchids. This one is really nice right here. Now, I feel like these orchids, especially the blue and purple ones, are the ones that basically um, have food coloring and are dyed. So basically these blue orchids um, were like white ones and they just like put them in food coloring and had them um, suck it up and actually get dyed. So I was, um, I did that before when I was in elementary school, we had some white carnation flowers and my teacher had us like put food coloring in water and like a couple of days later, they were um, the color that we put the food coloring in because I haven't ever really seen true blue flowers. They are actually blue foliage. Blue flowers are very rare in nature. I don't know the science behind it, but if you really see blue flowers or just blue um, colored plants, uh, that is a rarity in nature in general. But I did want to show you this. These are beautiful um, cascading orchids for $29.99. These are by Matsui Cascading Orchids. So I really like that. And these um, orchids are actually sourced from California. Um, so that's really interesting. This is the Matsui Nursery. So if you want to go to matsuinursery.com and check it out, um, see what they have. Maybe they have other or, um, plants besides orchids, but they are really known for providing cascading orchids or orchids that are just kind of trailed down like that. I think that's really beautiful. It gives it a graceful tone, um, a graceful look about it. Now with orchid care, obviously orchids need to be on the drier side. Um, you don't ever want to plant them in a medium like soil. They just want to be in bark. And like for other orchids, they actually just prefer to um, float around their epiphytes. So in nature, they really just attach to like trees and um, the way you would want to water them is either you can soak soak the um, the orchid bark completely in water for like a minute or two and pull it out and make sure that all of the water drains you'll know that orchids are completely um, hydrated by the um, the roots so the roots will usually be a very pale gray color when they are dry and needs to be watered but once you water it it will turn a greenish color and then you don't have to water it as often i would say water them maybe once every three weeks if that they also have um, fertilizer spray that you can spray onto the um 
to the roots. So that's just some of my um, orchid care tips. Let me know what you think. And I think some orchids can tolerate lower light conditions. Um, they do like more bright indirect light, just like most plants. And then if you guys over see over here, there is a sale. These are normally $12.99 for these smaller planters by Living Trends. Look at this cute Calathea um, Macriana right over here. We have some palms. We have some um, Peperomia right over here as well. I love that. Live Trends does have some very nice um, planters. Like I could work with the um, this planter here. I just like the colors. I kind of just wish they had just a simple color, like not even have any like patterns or different colors. Like a white one would have just been good. I do love the shape. And look at how beautiful this Peperomia is right over here. For me, Peperomia are cute, but um, at least in my care, they've ended up getting like spider mites. And sometimes the watering for me gets a little tricky because if you overwater them, their stems will rot. So um, I am not going to really add any Peperomia, but look at how beautiful this Calathea Makuyana is. You know, we were looking at those large Calatheas at Home Depot at the first location, but you can see this one right here is so tiny and cute. Um, so yeah, you can buy a small plant like this, but know that they will eventually have to get up potted because they will grow in size. Um, we have some orchid right over there. That's a Philanopsis orchid. But for $7.99, if you like little miniature um, plants like this, you definitely want to go hit up like a, a place like Kroger. And then here are some more um, Philanopsis orchids. These are the miniature versions right over here. So I think that if you're going to get orchids, big box stores um, like Walmart and Home Depot maybe um, don't have nearly as many um, varieties. And I would just say if you're looking for specialized exotic orchids, you want to go to a big box store like Lowe's. But if you want just like typical Philanopsis orchids, um, you know, a grocery store like Kroger's, Trader Joe's, HEB, they always have orchids. And you will see this in the video because I am going to be going to a lot of grocery stores. And right over here, we're going to pan out and show you that they have some lucky bamboo. And then we have some more um, plants right over here. Here we have uh, some type of Diefenbachia. And this one is for $9.99 in a four and a half inch planter. Um, I love Diefenbachia. Um, the only thing is, like I said in all my videos, they require bright indirect light. And um, if you don't give that to them, they will get very leggy very quickly. And we have an Aglonema right here for $9.99. Um, this is a really cool one. This one is a Mary Ann, apparently. So this is another interesting Aglonema that I haven't seen. Um, actually, I might consider getting that. That's interesting. And then we have another polka dot plant right over here really love the pink um on this one i think that polka dot plants are more so like seasonal interest plants um this one's for 99 for 9.99 um just because i feel like it's very difficult their watering is actually hard they need to stay moist but if you overwater them they will crisp up and then here we have a ficus elastica burgundy here really cute look looking ficus elastica burgundy um and this one is also for 9.99 so nice looking plants for um these are the four and a half inch planters and then we have some more plant uh, plants right here these are by costa farm so this is really cool this one is for 9.99 as well this one is a um, black foot rabbit fern really cute i've seen a lot of hanging baskets at walmart that feature this fern right here nice delicate looking leaves i like that a lot but costa farms has these for 9.99 so costa farms also provides for um, grocery stores typically i don't see as many costa farms but i love the fact that um, this kroger um, off of custer road in mckinney um, has this and then we have some more um, right over here we have another epipremnum arium neon pothos gotta love that i ended up getting this same type of planter from um, costa farms but i got a mandula pothos for 9.99 so thought that was really interesting actually home depot actually carries these planters i just haven't seen home depot carry a lot of cost of um, farms as of late and then this is another um, epipremnum arium jade pothos for 9.99 and this one is in a six inch planter so really cool and then in the corner over there we have a bromeliad i do want to pan out and show you what else they've got. They've got some Lucky Bamboo right over here. We've got some Pachira Aquatica right over here. I love that. And we have such a cool little emoji, a kiss emoji right here. And we have some more assorted um, live trends, Peperomia, Calathea right over here. These are all for $14.99. 
um, really like that and we have some more plants down here all of these plants right here like this um, bird's nest fern is for $7.99 um, not a bad price at all for a bird's nest fern and then we have a um, ficus lyrata right over here for $7.99 I actually got one for 99 cents at a grocery store called sprouts which is further up the road on custer so um, yep, this is actually $19.99 for this ZZ um, Zenzi plant. Um, I featured this at a last video, and this is by Live Trends. I do love the compact version of the ZZ Zenzi. I said it was ZZ Zen, but it's ZZ Zenzi. Um, I think that is a good price for it. It is more of an uncommon, rare um, ZZ plant. So if you want something compact that can really tolerate lower light conditions, definitely do that. But I did want to pan out here and show you um, this plant selection. So when you go to a big box store, you will always see plants. But if you go to a grocery store, you'd be surprised about how many house plants, aeroids, sometimes even rare plants you will find in the floral section. So definitely check it out. Like this is a really cute, cute cactus here for $9.99. And then look at how beautiful this ficus lorata is. Um, the natural leaf shine of a ficus lorata is absolutely stunning. And I never, I never really wanted to add a ficus lorata in my collection, but if I'm going to get it for 99 cents, um, there's really not a lot of um, risk in growing it. Ficus lorata are known to be a little bit more finicky because if you move it, they start to drop their leaves. So we'll see. But here is a philodendron white measure, or according to the grow, but it's actually a philodendron birkin. This one is a really nice one too. Has decent variegation actually higher variegation and there's two plants actually in this one this one is for $19.99 that white measure though earlier or the philodendron birkin um, I would totally get this um, leaf that is unfurling though looks like it is rotting not sure if it's just because um, it's got such high um, variegation that it can't sustain itself but yeah, this one is another um, zebra plant for $19.99. I think if you're going to pay for a zebra plant, you definitely need to go to a more of like a plant nursery like Callaway's. You can get them for much cheaper than a $19.99. But we'll go ahead and pan out over here and show you some more plants. Here we've got a um, beautiful dracaena dorado or hurricane dracaena i really like that just because it kind of spins around this one is by live trends for 19.99 really cute, cute looking dracaena and mind you this dracaena might be small but if you put it in a larger plant it can grow up to like four feet to five feet tall so that's something to take a look at and then we have all of these living trend small miniature planters um, for $7.99 on sale look at how cute this ficus lyrata is like it's super tiny i'm just curious how they start these plants are they tissue cultured are they seedlings i'm going to assume they're tissue cultured that they were um that they put as starter plants because look at these calathea right over here this one is really cool this is a calathea vitata um thank you to the plant foldy that um, was able to give me the plant ID for this Calathea. This is a beautiful Calathea as well. And I've seen these featured at big box stores and also grocery stores. But Live Trends Unique Living Decor, is that's definitely true. They are unique living decor for sure. And then we have some more um, plants here. This one is some type of fern for $7.99 as well. I love the, um, you know, oval planters. I just wish they were like a solid cream color, white color, gray color. And this one right here is a miniature um, Preparomia um, ortusif um, ortusifolia. I think that's how you pronounce it, but this one has less variegation, but I'm sure that if you give it more light, it will give you some more cream variegations. That Peperomia's um, variegation is more um, light influence for sure. And we have some more Epipremnum arium right there. Those are all for $9.99. And look at the view of this. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, when I was filming this video, this was actually early in the morning and it was raining, but I like that I... Um, plant shop also in the morning and evening because there's less traffic this one is some type of alocasia i'm going to say this is the alocasia poly that one's for 7.99 so that's not bad but i wouldn't recommend that alocasia in my um, experience that one is the most like spider mite prone it always gets spider mites for some reason the alocasia i have so far though are doing very well i do have a humidifier next to it and i often inspect it and spray it with this really awesome 
um, spray from We the Wild called Protect. WeTheWildUSA.com. Definitely check it out. It will protect your um, plants for sure from like a lot of these like pests like spider mites and thrifts. But look at how beautiful this philodendron heteraceum. Um, Brazil, this one is an Epipermnal Arium Neon Pothos. Beautiful. These plant are um, $29.99 for these planters um, by um, Living Trends. Very nice. I love Neon Pothos. I actually got one from Costa Farms Exotic Angels at a Walmart in Louisville, Texas. So um, just really happy. I am in the lookout for a Philodendron Heteraceum Lemon Lime. Um, so we'll see if I can find one, but we have some more plants right over here. Some more miniature plants. These ones are, um, you have a ficus larata, some um, palm, and then we're going to look at this Pachira aquatica or what you would call a money um, tree plant. That's the braided form. And then we have another ficus ginseng right over here. Really love the stump of that, but we can take a look at this, um, beautiful pachira aquatica i used to grow these and i actually grew it in a corner of my bedroom but i was surprised that it actually got spider mites so i didn't realize that it was susceptible to spider mites and then speaking of spider mites um that one right there is another alocasia those are plants that are susceptible to pests so when you go plant shopping definitely consider what pests they're susceptible for and have a preventative plan for it but look at how beautiful this um spathophyllum right over here is or peace lily you can get large um, plants of peace lilies at any big box or grocery so i love that and then i love this peperomia so when you think about peperomia look at the this particular one i don't know the plant id for this peperomia but let's see how much it costs this one is for 13.99 Peperomia um, piccolo, um, that's really nice right over here. And just look at it, look at the leaves. Um, the texture of the leaves are very much just rubbery. It's almost like a Hoya in some aspects, but of all the Peperomia I've seen so far, this is my favorite one. So I, if I'm gonna add a Peperomia, that would be the Peperomia I would add for sure. And now I'm finding some of these really cool um, Hanging baskets by Costa Farms. These are for $19.99. I do like the planter. It makes it a little bit more expensive just because this is the five inch planter. Um, you can buy the one without a planter for like $15.98, but the, the ceramic one kind of adds just a little bit more to it. And then we have another type of um, fern right here. This is really cute. I like like the, the circular um, you know, patterns of the leaves. That's very nice. And that one's for $13.99. And then we have another um, Skindapsis right over here. So, um, Skindapsis Silver. This one's really nice. This one's by Costa Farms as well. So I ended up actually getting a really interesting Syngonium that I still don't know the plant ID for. I ended up just buying it um, in a hanging basket like this at this particular Lowe's actually just because I wanted another interesting looking Syngonium. I'll have to feature that in a future video. But here's another um, beautiful fern right over there. Um, and I just want to go back here. So we have another Croton Petra. Now this is for $9.99. Now with a Croton Petra, that is also light influence when it comes to variegation. The more light you have, the more reds, yellows you will get. So that one, it just has, um, greens. And then this is an interesting, um, Aglonema as well. So I was glad that I was able to find an Aglonema at a grocery store, just cause if you're going to find easy to find plants, common plants, easy to care plants, um grocery stores should be carrying those as well versus like carrying calathea because they're a little bit more uh challenging i did want to pan over here and look at how beautiful all the flowers are um this kroger has an amazing floral area and plant area look at how beautiful this um, um alocasia is right here and there is a lot of leaf shine on it um so there is a little bit more care, I think, at grocery stores. I know that the floral team or the floral department waters them. I've seen it happen before. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pan over here. This one is right next to the Starbucks um, in the Kroger. And you can see these are large um, planters of ficus like Lyrata, and these are for $19.99. That is actually not a bad price. And look at how beautiful these leaves are. They are super shiny. So it looks like the floral department does spray some leaf shine on it. That makes it more appealing. And you know, I will say for big box stores, that is not necessarily the case, but grocery stores, 
I think grocery stores, you have a higher chance of finding um, more healthy plants. And that is the reason why plant foldies, I have been going to grocery stores to show you plants there because these are areas um, that I don't think we really look at. Like look, it's the mathophyllum here. Remember the one you saw at um, Home Depot? It was all like covered with hard water stains. And look at this uh, Monstera balloon. I would take this balloon as well. I think that's what I want to get today. Instead of like a no plant buy, maybe I should just get a balloon. But they, um, to go back to it, I will say the, the health of the plant at a big box store is not nearly as good as a grocery store. So if you have a lot of grocery stores in your local area, I would encourage you to check it out. You'd be surprised about what you're finding. And um, I'm going to go walk over here again and just show you that if you go to a grocery store, check out all of the plants like there is a lot of nice plant finds i would get like if you're going to ask me what i would buy if i didn't have it i would definitely buy an orchid from this kroger the matsui cascading orchids are really cool and even these flowering plants you know i asked if you know my plant uh, foldies or my plant viewers have you grown a cyclamen for instance long term indoors what the care tips are please leave it in the comments and um let me so the next location we will be going to is Whole Foods Market. This one is located off of Preston Road in Plano, Texas. Whole Foods Mar um, Market is a chain of grocery stores that really um, focuses on a lot of organic options. I don't know if you guys shop at Whole Foods. I do like Whole Foods a lot and I didn't realize that Whole Foods actually carries a lot of plants as well and their plants are typically um, more locally sourced. As you can see, it's raining really hard, but to get you guys um, plant content, I don't mind coming out and visiting several grocery stores today and just big box stores but we're gonna walk over in here and see what kind of plants they have mind you it is still very early in the season so we, they may not be as packed with plants but we're just gonna see so obviously grocery stores always have their plants near their floral department and we're gonna look to see if they have any plants today and we have some um, floral arrangements and then we have some assorted succulents right over here these are all for $14.99 um, really nice looking set of succulents right over here I haven't really gotten into succulents I may someday do it but you already know that's like opening Pandora's box just because then you'll want to collect it all and then we have some aloe vera aloe vera right over here for $4.99 I've had an aloe vera when I was a kid pretty cool you know you'd snip the plant and then get some of that um, gel and I don't know it's 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 a nice plant and right over here around the corner we are going to be seeing some bigger plants that we always see at big box stores so for instance this is one that you would see at um home depot especially this one right over here this is a huge calathea macuyana beautiful looking calathea and i love that you know grocery stores have some lighting that will like in accentuate the plant display then we also have a diphenbachia right over here that's nice i still need to know the plant id for that specific diphenbachia we've got a majesty palm you know it never ceases to amaze me that you will find a majesty palm anywhere and then we have a dracaena lemon lime beautiful dracaena as well and you can see that it does upsize very quickly and then we have another beautiful diphenbachia right over there in the corner we also have another um, calathea macuyana right over here um, i really like the calathea macuyana the one i bought from home depot at um, custer road in mckinney is the same size as this so i'm not sure if it is a similar grower or if it's one that they might have sourced locally i know that um whole foods has a really good job does a really good job about um stating where they get their plants and then we have a beautiful ficus elastica burgundy and a beautiful bird of paradise um all of these plants look very healthy but i think this one is super cool i've never really seen a larger version of a ficus um, triangularis beautiful plant but you know ficus triangularis is a very finicky plant i mean most ficus are and it has such beautiful variegation it just requires a lot of humidity and it's kind of like a ficus lyrata where if you put it in a new section or like new place in your home it will drop its leaves until it, um, it becomes happy again it's just such a diva plant and then we have some orchids here some orchid um, garden and these are all from um, a local grower out here um, and you can see that it is for $39.99. These are a little bit more pricey, but you know, Whole Foods has good quality plants, beautiful presentation, and their orchids are nice. They're in full bloom right now. These are all Philanopsis orchids, so they don't really care like Vanda orchids or different types of orchids like um, Lowe's. 
but not, needless to say they are still beautiful i like the planters they're very simple and i do like that they have their own little like wall of um, orchid so that's very nice and we have some bromeliads here and we can see that there is somebody one of their employees is actually taking the time to water the orchid so what they do is they have they soak the um, orchid bark completely and you notice how the roots turn green as soon as water hits it that's when you know that the orchid has been soaked and you just have to let it soak for a few minutes all the way through and then she'll just let it sit there and drain because orchids do not like um wet roots like that that's how quickly you can get root rot and i just love the fact that you can see that this whole foods is actually taking care of its plants i did get a um, chance to speak with the person who's in charge of these plants and i love that they do take the time to take care of them you know either just snipping off dead leaves and watering the plants i think they're on a watering schedule at least for the orchids maybe once a week correct me if I'm wrong and then we have some more um, Philanopsis orchids right here for $22.99 and it looks like all orchids are 20% off so that's not a bad deal either so if you're in the um, Dallas Fort Worth area in Plano come stop by this Whole Foods I, I really get a nice vibe and the person who was actually watering says that you know the front part that we just entered when um, spring season comes around that becomes kind of like their own little garden center because they've got some overflow of plants so I did get some contact information from her and she'll let me know when they get restocked again and I will definitely do an update but you can see there's some hanging baskets these are actually urban jungle hanging baskets and um, we have some more bromeliad so you know alongside with um, majesty palm you will always see bromeliads right over here I am not as big of a fan of these types of bromeliads I really like the bromeliads with a very like vibrant pink foliage i thought that was super cool callaways had some really good ones um, for a very nice price but nonetheless bromeliads they're all over anywhere you go just like majesty palms and they have a row of it i did ask to sell um the person who was in charge of the floor area if bromeliads were a hot commodity and she says they don't really sell as nearly as much um the orchids do um however and then here's the succulent this one is grown in um Devale, um texas um so that's really nice to just see you know Grocery stores like Whole Foods really patronizing local. I think that we should patronize local growers, small businesses. So that's really nice to see that they are sourcing out from local growers in Texas. So go Texas for that. And actually, I'm just really fortunate to have um, a lot of options to look at for plant um, shopping in Texas just because I don't really see, you know, for based on the Plant Foldies community on Growfold and, you know, the viewers here, they mentioned that their um, big box stores aren't nearly as stock. And um, we are looking at some Rager Begonia. I've seen this a lot. I saw this at Callaway's Nursery and then just all these grocery stores. They do like to feature a lot of um, blooming plants. I think that's really awesome. Um, it makes me tempted to actually grow blooming plants indoors. Maybe that type of begonia, just because I do like the leaf color, but look at how beautiful the blooms are as well. I'm gonna assume with any flowering plant that it's gonna need a lot of bright light. So that's the only thing I might have to like grow it near a, a window or have a really bright um, grow light underneath it. And then we have some kitty grass over here. That's really cool. Some Sansevieria, some succulents and we have some kalanchoe right over here i think that's how you pronounce it um and then these are all for 1549 this assorted um foliage right here this one's grown in new jersey this is an epiphyllum shark fin so maybe it you know i don't know if epiphyllum are kind of like similar to um, succulents but it has that vibe our texture around it and then we have some spider plants this one actually is pretty nice either that either this is a spider plant or an airplane plant one of the two they're very similar there's just a little bit of browning on the tips but nonetheless you can just take a pair of sanitized scissors and cut the brown tips off and voila you've got a better um plant again and then we have an epiphyllum um, angler fish bone this is really cool too i'm thinking that if you give this like bright um light and just a lot of light that maybe it'll be sun stress like um, a hoya and maybe get some different colors but this table just has a couple of um house plants here's another um spider plant right over here this one's growing very well and look at how beautiful the variegation is i did want to show you that um the planter is um nice as well i wish that there wasn't really texture i just wish it was like a simple smooth surface that was matte that's just my personal aesthetic and then we have some type of begonia right over here that looks super cool as well 
love begonias i just can't grow them so for anybody in the um the live chat premieres or even in the comments leave your um care tips for begonias i'd li really love to learn i know that there are so many ways to propagate begonia i would like to add some to my house collection at some point and then we can see right here this looks like you know those proven winners feeling flirty tradescanthia but this one is legitimately called um tradescanthia nanook i thought that tradescanthia nanook would um, have larger foliage and more like undersides that were pink so i'm not 100 percent sure these are nice plants though the trick about tradescanthia is they will start to get leggy so what you need to do to keep it um like as full and lush like this is to snip off the leaves to encourage more growth um and they're very very easy to propagate you literally can just cut like a piece off stick it directly in the soil and it'll grow or you can put it in water i actually have a tradescanthia the greener version where i got like one little like node put it in water it started growing and it started to like trail and now i'm about to have a full-blown plant so and that was just literally picking up one of those um cuttings right on the floor so i thought that was interesting and we have some more tradescanthia right here a spider plant this is a really cool cactus um for 10.99 um do you guys collect cactus like i'm just curious to see if we have some cactus fans here i can try to get you some more cactus in the videos but i just don't expect me to get the plant ids i'm not as versed with like succulents and cactus I did want to take some more time to show you the this other Tradescanthia right here. This is the one I actually have and was able to propagate. And this one is the Tenderness Tradescanthia. So really cool. And these are all grown in um, New Jersey. So I like that they're able to show their growers. I haven't seen any Costa Farms. And I, um, I did ask the person in charge of the flora area. They used to get a lot of like Costa Farms trending tropicals. I'm not 100% sure if they'll get it. But obviously when they get their restock, I'll be the first one to film and report that. But look at how beautiful this variegation is for Tradescanthia. They're super easy to grow. And I like pink plants, purple plants, um, variegated plants, all of the um, plants. So. This one is another um, peperomia as well. It's another variegated peperomia. It has a little different texture in its variegation. Um, I am definitely a fan of the foliage and peperomia are so nice, or at least the peperomia or, or tusifolia. Um, those are nice just because the texture of the leaves are waxy. They remind me of Hoya and they're also easy to propagate as well. Um, I don't I'm not really a fan of the planter like I said again I like simple ones but here's another peperomia this is the one that you would often see at like Lowe's or big box stores this is another variegated um, peperomia or tusifolia very nice and you can see it's happy because it's got some new um, leaves that are about to grow out but I do like going to Whole Foods here. Um, they don't have nearly as big of a plant selection, but you know what? All the plants we've looked at are super healthy and that's really what matters is the, the health of the plant. Um, like look at these beautiful begonia. I am really like tempted to grow like indoor azalea, indoor begonia. And you can see that this little table right here has them. And then we just have some more you know we can go pan over here and look at the bromeliad so for those that um have whole foods do you ever um go to whole foods and purchase plants i know actually whole foods this is the one um st grocery store i did see a hedra helix and you know i love me some hedra helix guys so um no english ivy today but i did want to show you guys the bromeliad so bromeliads are often seen at big box stores grocery stores i bet you you can even find them at like a walgreens or a cvs that's another area that i would definitely want to check to see if they have um plants and look at that wall of um orchids the person that's in charge did say that um, they are a little bit light but they will be getting quickly restocked very soon so i'm excited to come back and check out this whole foods i really like that their plants are up you know kept well they are definitely watering their plants i haven't seen a single plant that was unhealthy i did even witness her like tri um, trimming some brown you know tips off of these leaves so hopefully we can get that but we are going to go to another grocery store and this one is literally across the street off of um, preston road from whole foods this is trader joe's here's another location so we went to the first one in mckinney texas north mckinney texas this one is off of preston road in plano texas trader joe's is really known for some really cost effective plants i would say they had the best pricing for um philodendron monstera and definitely ficus elastica but they also have some really cute planters like this one is for 7.99 dollars 
really like that and there's just some nice little succulents right over here i do like um how trader joe's has some very quirky little planters like this is really cute definitely think that it's worth the 7.99 and then they have some like bulbs right over here um that's the thing about trader joe's plants is they do follow seasonality so like right now it's about to be spring and we already have the bulbs going on um, they have different types of plants um, throughout the seasons and then we have some really interesting hyacinths So I didn't realize and look at how beautiful the roots are by the way I didn't know the hyacinth actually bloom in the spring. I thought it was more of like a summer plant But you can see that they are more in hydroponic situations. Same thing with tulip bulbs um, I like uh, Hyacinth just because they remind me of Animal Crossing. So for anybody who has like a Nintendo switch Do you guys actually play Animal Crossing? What do you think about hyacinths? I remember having a whole island full of um, hybrid hyacinths, um, but that's just another story. And I know that's kind of um, me rambling. And then we have some more assorted house plants. These are the easy ones to grow. And these are for $3.99. We can see that there's some cute little planter starter plants. So we have a Philodendra heteracium Brazil, but look at how variegated um, this Philodendra heteracium Brazil is. Really nice looking starter plant for a small space. That's really cute. And then we have another Syngonium. This one is a Syngonium white butterfly, but look at how lush and full this one is for a um, plant. $3.99 is not bad. I would actually purchase this. And when you compare like Exotic Angels um, by Costa Farms, those are like usually $5.98 or $4.97 at Walmart. But these starter plants are even cheaper, $3.99. Now I wish that the, they would offer more selection of plants, but you know what? Um, this philodendron is an easy to care for plant. Obviously syngoniums are very easy too. And these are very nice, full and lush for $3.99. Like you can literally upsize this to a four inch pot and then keep growing. But look at how beautiful that, that is. And then they have another calathea right here. This isn't as perfect of a calathea. So we'll just go ahead and put that down. But that is also for $3.99. Maybe they've already picked through the calathea. But for those that are wanting easy to care for plants, those are nice. And then we have some tillis, uh Tillandsia, Tillandsia, um, pineapple. These are all air plants. I think um, Live Trends have an amazing assortment of plants. They focus a lot on just um, very nice looking planters and their plants are typically healthy. And then we have some um, potted up miniature roses, $5.99. I actually bought a miniature rose from Trader Joe's, this exact same one. Look at how beautiful the variegated blooms are on this rose. Now here's the thing. I have to ask with, um, you know, miniature roses, are they roses that you can plant outdoors in a yard? Do they, can they stay in a pot? Do they have to stay like outside or can they be grown inside? And you can see here we have some large hyacinth and um, different types of bloom or bulb flowers. We've got some tulips, we've got some daffodils. Um, and we just have some flowering plants and this is just right at the entrance. So some, um, Trader Joe's have a larger selection of plants, but you know what? Let's walk in here and look at this. Do you see what I see? Look at all of this ficus elastica premium ficus for $12.99. We've got a ficus taniki, a ficus ruby. Like this one, I'm gonna say is a taniki, but look at how sun stressed this is. Like I literally want to pick this up and buy it. I am struggling to see if I'm gonna buy this ficus taniki because look at the variegation, it's so beautiful. Yeah, like I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and just kind of examine it. I, I did take a photo of it as well. Um, but look at this and then they have another ficus taniki right over here 12.99 guys these are um, full plants you've got you can at least get two ficus taniki in this six inch um, pot and then this is a ficus elastica ruby right here look at how beautiful this is now i have two ficus elastica i have a ficus elastica um, taniki already a ficus um, shivriana and a ficus burgundy and then i also have a ficus audrey so i've got a quite a bit of ficus and what's interesting is in texas i've actually taken these um, ficus put it outside in a south facing window or just south facing um in my yard and was able to grow it in direct full sun and these um plants did not burn they actually were very um vigorous in their growth by providing so much light so i don't know if these just you know they do need bright light but growing them outside i was able to get a full-blown tree now um it is winter and i had to put bring some of them inside my garage with a grow light so they were starting to drop their leaves 
but um, that is amazing to find $12.99. I think at some point when I get my space situated, I keep saying that I will um, add another ficus to Niki or some kind of ficus from Trader Joe's. That's exactly where I would go. These are some really cute Calia lilies. Um, I don't really grow, I wouldn't really be interested in growing that just because the blooms don't last long. They, it does have some interesting foliage and I love chrysanthemum or mums and this is the New Year's chrysanthemum. It's a bright yellow color. In Japan, they call them kiku and they have like chrysanthemum or mum festivals in japan if you ever get a chance you can see that they hybridize them same thing with azalea um so just as much as i love like indoor plants i love outdoor plants as well um flowering plants i just never really thought to bring flowering plants indoors to grow um that's just not something that was on my mind and then we have another kalia lily right here that's a beautiful lavender color next to that tanniki ficus elastica tanniki so i just wanted to show you you guys some grocery store plants you can see right here they've got some large monstera deliciosas right over here fully mature they're really large actually they've got to be staked up but um you know we do big box plant shopping but i also want to go pepper in some grocery stores so hopefully you like seeing kroger's um whole foods and trader joe's i have so much more footage to show you guys i filmed so many um, plant places so hopefully we can mix that up alongside with local um areas but i did want to pan over here let me know what you guys think about trader joe's um ficus elastica if that's the best pricing you've seen I honestly think so. And then Trader Joe's has some amazing um, bouquets of flowers. So you can get that as well. And obviously you can't um, get away from Trader Joe's with orchids. But this is Richie at Growfold. I will be ending this video soon. Be Stay tuned to go see all of my other collages of different big box stores and what kind of plants you can find. You can see that these are for $10.99, these beautiful orchids right over here. They have some variety at this Trader Joe's. But I do appreciate everybody always tuning into my live premieres. I might just wean up and just only do one live premiere in the evening until I can really catch up. I would love to do two videos a day every day, but I promise you, you will always have a video um from me every day it might just be a little bit later in the evening um you guys have been super supportive i've got several people um continuing to stay on the chats and i love interacting with you ask me any question add me at girlfolds on instagram you can send me a dm and we can connect but this is the plano texas um trader joe's there's a couple more trader joe's in the dfw market that i will definitely film for you at some point this is richie and i'll see you on the next one bye